Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During the recent Russia-Ukraine conflict, we have seen Russia heavily relying on its unguided bombs. The unguided munition lacks the precision which causes heavy collateral damage which limits the Russian Air Force capability to provide close air support for their forces, further making them an easy target for Ukrainian manpads air-to-air -air launched missile because they have to fly low. Therefore, guided munition becomes very essential in modern-day warfare where bombing is required with precision from a long standoff distance. Now, as per latest report, Indian Air Force is converting its air-dropped unguided bombs into a precision bombs which can be dropped from a range of 80 kilometers. This, I would say, is a smart move by Indian Air Force of converting cheap unguided bombs into a precision strike weapon from a large standoff distance. Usually, Air Force have these bombs in huge quantities as they are much cheaper compared to precision guided munitions. Air Force had signed a contract for American J Dam kit to convert its unguided munition into precision strike bombs. This is a cheaper option than buying a precision guided munition. The JDAM is a guidance kit that converts existing unguided free fall bombs into accurate, adverse weather smart munitions. With the addition of a new tail section that contains an initial navigation system and a global positioning system guidance control unit, JDAM improves the accuracy of unguided general purpose bombs in any weather condition. JDAM is a joint US Air Force and Department of Navy program. It uses either 500 or 1000 or 2000 pound warhead as the payload. It enables the employment of accurate air to surface weapons against high priority fixed and relocatable targets from fighter and bomber aircraft. The guidance is facilitated through a tail control system and a GPS aided inertial navigation system. The navigation system is initialized by transfer alignment from the aircraft that provides the position and velocity vectors from the aircraft system. Once released from aircraft, the JDAM autonomously navigates to the designated target coordinates. The target coordinates can be loaded into the aircraft before takeoff, manually altered by the aircrew before weapon is released or automatically entered through target designation with onboard aircraft sensors. In its most accurate mode, the JDM system will provide a weapon circular error probability of just 5 meters or less during free flight when GPS data is available. If GPS data is denied, the JDM will achieve a 30 meters of circular error probability or less for free flight up to 100 seconds with a GPS quality handoff from the aircraft. JDAM can be launched from very low to very high altitudes in dive, toss or loft and in straight and level flight with an on-axis or off-axis delivery. JDAM enables multiple weapons to be directed against single or multiple targets on a single pass. The first fleet of fighters that are equipped with JDAM integrated bombs is going to be LCA Tejas. Air Force have already integrated the French hammer missiles with the LCA Tejas, while the JDAM integrated guided bombs can be fired from Tejas from a standoff distance of 80 km. The hammer missile will be launched from a standoff distance of 70 km. The hammer missile is unique in the sense that it has feature of both missile and a glide bomb. The hammer is a modular weapon which can be equipped with variety of guidance modes such as satellite guidance, infrared seeker and laser. The hammer kit can be fitted to a bombs of different sizes of 125 kg, 250 kg, 500 kg and 1000 kg with the last type meant for bunker buster missions. Since hammer is propelled, it can be used at low altitudes or in hilly terrain unlike normal bombs that are unpropelled. The integration of hammer and JDAM has made Tejas a perfect killing machine to conduct bombing missions from a very safe standoff distance away from enemy's 
एयर डिफेंस सिस्टम दिस वॉज टूडेज अपडेट प्लीज लेट एस नो वट इज योर व्यूज अबाउट दीज इन कमेंट सेक्शन Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind, friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.